But welcome back guys to another video. So in this one I kind of want to talk about like Injustice 3 because I'm a huge Injustice fan, alright? I was, bro, when Injustice 2 got announced, okay, I bought like that legendary, the ultimate thing, edition thing, and I bought it at GameStop, so I got like a cool cover of the game, okay, I got a jersey, okay, I was, bro, little me was pimping, I ain't gonna lie, and it's like, uh... Bro, I'm the best. Why am I in practice? I already know what I'm doing. All right, let's just let's just go online. I'm just so bad at this game, man. I I don't know, dude. Quantum Moon Justice Three, basically the future of my character wish list and kind of what I want to see, like the story mode, while getting my ass beat by this Jose. I, this is such bullshit. I think all of us can admit, Injustice is n best known for its story. Okay, Injustice One was like a killer story. Injustice Two, just fundamentally was amazing too. Oh. I got him. I caught you lacking, boy. Now you're mine. Now you're mine. <clears throat> Good line. All right. Whatever, dude. You're <laughs> Injustice One was just the overall better story because it, like, it's really the fundamental of what Injustice is and what it represents with the whole multiverse and that concept, right? And you know, they went for more of a basic story with kind of the Brainiac story, and that's 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 fine. It's whatever. I mean, you're better than me. I hope you literally run headfirst into a wall. But they kind of went for a basic when it came to the Brainiac story, kind of lowering down it. But it still showed that Injustice's story writing is just, it's top tier. And listen, I'm not trying to throw shade at Mortal Kombat, but I think we can agree that Mortal Kombat storytelling can get interesting at times. Your brother's soul is mine. We're kind of over the multiverse talk. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like we've barely touched storytelling when it comes to multiverse telling. I think we're just getting kind of poor representations of the multiverse when it comes to like Dark Strange and Multiverse of Madness and The Flash. I think the multiverse concept is still so fresh and it can, we can really explore what it represents. Oh, okay, dude, really? Is this guy not even here? I don't think he's here. I broke him. <laughs> Dude, I might be the best player! Holy, that was so sick! I've never done that! I've never done that in this game. Okay, I might be the best player. You know what? Screw Injustice. Give me Mortal Kombat 1. Give me but my point I'm basically getting here is one thing that makes Injustice Online. like a special First. story that sits close to a lot of people's hearts is it's bold, dude. You know, you're not going around seeing your favorite characters get blown through their head, you know, from Superman. Okay, you're not seeing 2% winning. Who is this guy? 3,000. What the? And while that makes it a bold storytelling and it's fun to watch, the only thing that makes it bad is now that character's gone. Whatever. Point is, is. You, you kill these characters and then you can't play them or put them in the story because they're already dead. If we bring in the multiverse concept again, though. But what I would love to see is the return of Red Hood. Red Hood is like my favorite character in fiction general. I think he's just, I love his storytelling, everything about the character. When I saw that he was coming to Injustice, I was beyond excited. Mained him, of course. I mean, even if he wasn't even a good character, I would have mained him. I mean, it's, it's Red Hood. So I'd love to see some Red Hood and see him in the story mode. But then we transition into more like the actual multiverse getting introduced. And with that being introduced, I want to see them get pretty ballsy with the characters. All right, when I say ballsy, I want to say Batman brings in some of the more magic users. I want to see some Constantine thrown in there. The villain, or not even necessarily a villain, just maybe like a more of like he just shows up and you momentarily fight him. We've seen Noob Saibot in this game. All right, we know how Noob Saibot would work. How about we get some Batman who laughs? That would be so sick to see in this game. Batman who laughs is such an interesting concept and like, awesome, he's scary, dude. He worked perfect for a game like this. So now picture this in the story mode, okay? You're in this new multiverse, this new universe. You don't know exactly how this place works, all right? You're like, wow, what's going on here? Then, all of a sudden, a villain attacks. All right, let's say Dark Side attacks. I'd like to see him in the game too. Let's say Dark Side attacks. And you're like, shoot, I need some help. Who, 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 you know, who's in this world? I don't know who's anyone in this world. And then out of nowhere, all right, the Teen Titans show up. All right, we're, we're talking Beast Boy. Beast Boy needs to be in Injustice 3. Okay, we all, everyone agrees. All right, I actually can't lose this guy. He's not that good. We need Beast Boy, and we need some more of these magic dudes. So see Constantine, uh, Z what's that one chick, Z Zatanna, whatever. You see them show showing up, and then we go against, you know, people like the Batman who laughs. would be really cool to see. Another one I'd love to see is Etchigan. Etch etch Etchigan, yes. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not good. Let's just, let me cook, dude. Now, this is where my, this video gets spicy. All right, hear me out. I'm about to cook. I'm about to cook right here. 
The story mode introduces the multiverse concept again, and you already know that Ed Boon and the team that works with Injustice is going to give the story so much love, and it's going to be great. All right, we already know this. What's going to happen? You're going to finish the game. People are going to love the game. You know, they're going to start learning online, start combos. You know, everything's going to start, and then the game's going to start dying down. Not necessarily dying, but it's just going to, you know, people are going to get used to it, right? Then Injustice is going to pull a page out of Mortal Kombat, and they're going to do an Aftermath DLC, okay? You can call it Injustice across the spider-verse wait no you could call it injustice into the wait no you could just call it i don't care what you call it point is it's, it's another multiverse story right for the for the dlc and what you'll do in it right hear me out hear me out hear me out what it's gonna be is it's gonna introduce like a whole new character roster okay we're talking like 10 more characters and you're like dang who could they introduce and what's gonna happen oh let me let me let me beat sky up real quick I might be the best player. All right, now it's going to introduce like 10 more characters, okay? And you're like wondering, what's that going to be? So what's going to happen, okay, is a main character in the story mode is going to die. All right, we're talking Batman. We're talking Superman, okay? We're, something needs to happen in the Justice story because let's be real. Okay, we're not going to get 20 oh, Injustice okay. games like we could do with Mortal Kombat. Someone is going to grieve and they're going to want to pull a flashpoint and want to see them again. So they'll, they'll open up the multiverse, kind of go to another world. But that's going to cause a, a crazy rift. It's going to start breaking. Everything's going to be falling apart. Okay, you're going to go into this huge huge whoosh it's gonna start showing the, the world okay it's gonna start showing them passing by you're gonna see a bunch of references okay it's gonna be what the flash movie was supposed to be also i want to just throw this in there i know it's kind of a side note i want to see batman beyond like as his own character and i'd like it to be in story mode like like maybe like you get a scene where they're kind of going through the multiverse and they're going through and then all of a sudden you run you they land in batman Be I'm getting sidetracked. Let's see versus kind of crashing around them. They're like, shoot, what's happening? And then you're going to see two specific worlds clash. Boom! And they clash. And then you're like, oh my gosh. Two worlds just clash, okay? Now it's going to zoom in. And then whoosh. And then fade title card. Injustice. Multiverse of Madness. No, I whatever you're going to call it, the title card's going to be there, okay? Then it's going to transition into the gameplay. And what it is, is it's going to be a whole story mode of a soft reboot of Mortal Kombat versus DC. Basically, the world they clashed into is gonna be some sort of Mortal Kombat. It doesn't have to be the Mortal Kombat 1. It could be whatever Mortal Kombat 1, but it'd be cool. I mean, by the time Injustice 3 comes out, we'll already have Mortal Kombat 12 out, so we'll understand how that universe works. So you could do that, it'd be cool. I would like it to kind of collide into Injustice. So rather than DC versus Mortal Kombat, it could be Injustice versus Mortal Kombat. So I'd like it to be part of the Injustice world, but I don't know how well they could do that. But the point is, I know a lot of the complaints of Mortal Kombat vs. DC was just like, you know, the gameplay and the fatalities and stuff. But now, you can bring in the concept into now. Okay, it would be perfect. You don't have to necessarily go for a multiverse concept or a time travel concept you could go for a more simple story like they did kind of in the the second i mean it wasn't simple but you know compared to i guess the the grand scheme of things sure but like you don't have to go anything crazy like that you really don't have to these characters are very interesting on their own and we could introduce things like racial gold in the league of assassins how they do in the comics right you could start bringing stuff like that all i'm saying is I would love to see some crazy multiple stories start bringing in the Batman who laughs, some cool characters that we would love to see in these games. Start bringing them in there. Uh oh, I'm really gonna lose this. Hold up. What? What is happening? Why am I not? Why am I not? Why isn't he sprinting? Why is he going? Uh, uh. There, that's what you're supposed to do, dumb nut. This is. This is does this guy want to? Does, is that something he wants? I'll, I'll give you the rematch. Why not? Make up your mind. Basically, rough is I would love to bring in some Just League Dark. I would love to see Costine Etch again. I'd love to see some The Batman Who Laughs would be amazing as a villain. Would be really cool. Um, I would also love to see the and then the whole concept of you know Injustice Aftermath 
uh, bring in Mortal Kombat, that you bring the Mortal Kombat characters, you bring in Johnny Cage, Liu Kang, you know, them as char fighting characters would be awesome. One more last thing before I end this video, which would be another idea, which I would love. Ed Boon was doing little hints towards Marvel. Okay, what what I would love so much is at the end of Injustice, when you complete the aftermath, a little post-credit scene, and you don't have to actually give us DC versus Marvel, which would be amazing if you could, but I really doubt they could. But I would love to see some sort of reference to Marvel, just kind of as a haha gotcha, as a little tickle on your ball. Anyways, that's gonna do it. Kato. Kato. Kato.